Okay, let's pretend like it's uh, tomorrow morning. About what time can you start cross-pollinating cotton? Uh, the pollen will start shedding anywhere as early as like 8 or 8.30 in the morning, but we typically wait until 9 because that's when it starts to shed really good. Uh, so to make a pollination, we take a unemasculated flower from our male parent, and we just take it and rub the anthers on the on the stigma like so for our female parent. And can you actually see the pollen? Yes, if, if the camera may not have high enough re resolution, but you can actually see the pollen on the stigma. And what does it look like? Uh, it just looks like little beads. Okay. And how many of these can you typically do a day? Uh, we've been doing about 700. Per person or for no. the entire crew? For the entire crew of about eight people, so close to 100 per, per person. person. And then we usually typically put a straw over the top of it. And why do you put a straw on the top of it? To prevent pollination by another, another, uh, you know, for, from bee-mediated pollen flow. So are bees the primary cross-pollinator in cotton? Uh, yes, as long as it's, you know, not in a crossing block as we are now with people controlling pollen flow. Well, if you don't uh, control the pollen like that, how much outcrossing typically occurs in cotton? About 30%. Okay. And how many people do you have in your crew right now? Uh, we're looking at about eight. About eight people. And how many weeks out of the year will they do this cross-pollination? Uh, probably anywhere from two to three weeks. Two to three weeks. Okay. Thank you, Ben.